want to end with an age-old battle. One of my favorites, man versus machine, as artificial intelligence takes hold in the world of finance. Can it really make a meaningful impact on investing and on ETF investing? AIEQ, the first ETF to use artificial intelligence to pick stocks, processing more than a million pieces of information a day to analyze 6,000-plus U.S. companies. Joining us now, the man behind it, Art Amador, co-founder, chief operating officer of Equibot. Art, good to see you. Uh, we talk many times. This is one of my favorite subjects. Uh, you've been around for a while. First, explain how AIEQ works. How do you pick stocks? What's interesting to me is I, it looks to me like this is big cap tech, Alphabet, Amazon, Netflix, Apple, big holder, but you also have Brown Foreman and Johnson & Johnson. Tell us what the AI is doing to pick the stocks. Yeah, so it's powered by IBM Watson, and the idea is to recognize patterns across management teams, across financial statements, across news, things like social media, to identify trends that are occurring in the marketplace and to capture the companies that are going to appreciate the most over the next six to 12 months. Now, it, it, that's a pretty broad statement. Can you break it down? Is it 3% what analysts say, 10% momentum? You know, we think in terms of silo. How, do you, how, does, the, how does the AI actually work? Yeah, so it's, it's dynamic and it's data dependent. And really, this is kind of where the machine learning comes in. The weights change over time, right? What we care about is how the market is pricing the various companies, the various industries. So as the, as the data changes, right, news or financials might become more important. We care about what's being rewarded in the market. Yeah, so is there evidence that it's getting smarter, that it's work, and what do we have, 25% for the year, it's, it's a short period to look at, but I guess anybody looking at this says, do, do you, can you show that the machine is learning more, actively learning, adding to its base, and that it's getting better over time, and, and that eventually, Artificial intelligence will be a superior way to pick than just owning the S&P 500, for example. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I think it comes back to the explosion of data that's occurring and incorporating that data into the investment process. So through machine learning, the system is actually better today than it was yesterday. It'll be even better tomorrow. So for example, in Q4 of last year, it identified uh, cloud computing as a trend uh, over the next six to 12 months, and cloud computing is added to that, that outperformance. And you say identified, I'm sorry to stop you, but what do you say identify? Is it reading the newspapers? I mean, literally, I'm not kidding. Well, what I mean, are the inputs? Yeah, What's the, what the inputs? Are? Yeah, so 1.3 million news articles and social media posts uh, every single day. It's the 10Ks, 10Qs uh, of the company, right? It's, it's what's going on in the, in the earnings. Uh, it's what's happening on, on social media. So all of these signals, right, are very important, both in isolation and in combination with one another. And those decisions, the learning is kind of built over time. Yeah, so, so the, I, I noticed that you've outperformed this year, but in the downturn in December, you notably underperformed. It's not surprising because you got Alphabet and Amazon and Apple uh, in there uh, among that. But how do you, what do you say to investors when you, when you have that kind of thing? I know you're, you're, you're not a daily trader. You don't come in and out. Tell us how often you rebalance this fund, for example. What, how, how do you determine how often stuff goes in and, and pulls out? Yep, so it's dynamic, uh, it's data dependent, it gets rebalanced uh, almost every single day. Q4 was difficult, right? And during that time, you never really know in that moment um, if, if it's working or if it's not working. But as we can see now, in Q4, not only did it pick up some staples, but it picked up some high-performing cloud computing names like Coupa Software, which is up over 130% this year. Todd, you've been an analyst for many years. How do you feel about being replaced by an artificial <laughs> intelligence? Well, and as analysts that work at CFRA, that we cover individual stocks. Hard-working, decent Americans, may doing, I add. That are doing it, that are picking stocks. But I do think what's interesting is in the ETF wrapper, because this is being refreshed potentially on a daily basis, knowing what's inside it, having that transparency, can help an investor to understand what's shifted day to day, week to week, month to month, because it is really driving the underlying holdings for the, for the performance of the ETF. Tim, how does this awareness that there are machines nipping at our heels and our jobs here every day Im impact the way you look at things? Well, look, let's, let's be clear. The market inefficiencies that hedge fund managers for years who are long, short stock pickers um, are, are, have largely been, been you know, eradicated and, and taken out of the market. And so ultimately, finding signs of momentum and, and obviously the different inputs that Art's talking 
talking about are, are, are critical. And, and to be clear, you can have, we've seen this in this rally, Bob. We've had some of the biggest market cap companies in the world that would be considered value plays, a company like a GM, which doesn't move, despite the fact that their fundamentals continue to be, I think, quite extraordinary. We've gotten recent earnings out of the company. We've had a reaffirmation. You know, having a, 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 yep. an artificial uh, intelligence approach to finding the companies that are also moving based upon momentum and fundamentals, I think is pretty interesting. I saw a financial journalist, AI, demonstrated two years ago that stripped U.S. government data right, right out of the, 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 mach the machine feed and spit out a perfectly readable paragraph on, say, housing starts and how it was doing. What it lacked was a little deeper level of analysis and, and Tim's stunning good looks. That's what it lacked. So <laughs> you're not being Seller. replaced anytime Seller. soon. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe. Remember, if you do like what you hear, please spread it on social media to your friends and family to subscribe. Now, I received a uh, few emails in regards to the, the stock market. Guys, do not allow news to dictate what you actually do. Remember, we didn't have a lot of liquidity on Friday. So the fact is, is that the repo market can throw out 65, 80, 90 billion and we recover the pre-market loss. Right now, I think the pre-market loss is like 350 right now for the Dow. So the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P is down. But remember, guys, they're printing money like crazy. So on Monday, they can easily at 8.30, they normally do it either 8.30, 8.45, throw out exactly what they're going to do and these past few Mondays they've been doing like two or three operations so don't let that panic I understand the narrative that they're throwing out there remember I can't say that word but remember I told you the three narratives so do not allow that to dictate your trades we have to wait and see what the liquidity will be then we make a move don't get caught up in the Dow being down and then they throw out another 40, 50, 60, 90 billion dollars. So do not allow that to dictate your trades. I advise you that they would have I advise you that we would get a little pump this weekend and I advise you that Tether was pumping. So Tether has been getting pumped. So um a pump is going to come. Now, how big is going to be? We don't know yet. It all depends on, again, liquidity. So, but we will see exactly if it's going to maintain for Monday and Tuesday. But we have to take this on a day-to-day -day basis. I just want to make sure that we understand that. But I just want to do that quick video because uh, I received so many emails. Guys, don't forget I have the book, Crypto Teacher on Amazon. Also, you can go to the website, btcteacher.com, get the book. Also, educate yourself as far as with the economy. Also, have the uh, websites for your cryptos, Binance, Coinbase, and Bitru. And then I also have uh, Robinhood for your stocks. Don't forget everything is going to have a chip in it, so don't forget about your chip stocks. Cobalt, they need that mineral for your uh, electricity batteries and guys y'all have a wonderful day and thank you a lot for listening and do not forget to subscribe